All right, guys. So I guess this is a uh, devlog number one. I haven't made a video on this. I'm kind of making a late devlog, but because we already got the lobby done. Well, well, introducing. Um, well, well, actually, before we do that, I should have a trailer out. Like maybe in a couple days, gonna make a trailer for the game just of what we have so far. But we already have the lobby done. So introducing Haunted Heritage is a new horror gaming coming to Roblox. Um, we already have the lobby done as you can see like when you get in these trucks, there'll be a circle That's all we got to do in the lobby still, but yeah lobby's done. Uh, seems pretty cool Don't want to show you guys too much. You can kind of go exploring yourself But yeah, we got chapter one chapter two is coming soon. We're still working on chapter one, but we'll get to the game itself So let's just go ahead and go in project four cart right into grimace. Don't mind that 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 doesn't matter That game completely failed so we'll kind of get to the main game itself. I'll give you guys a little backstory of what this game is going to be like since it is a horror game as I already let you know. Didn't want to move that tree. All right. So basically you are the kids, right? Everyone that squads up in the lobby that goes in the same game tag there. Everyone that plays the game is considered one of the kids, right? So your dad is that NPC that you can see right next to that truck. Um, Oh, some reason this cutscene always does that sometimes I got to fix it. Let me redo that. But uh, that dad is next to the truck and basically The kids right you go your whole family right is going to visit your old family land and You kind of the tree so like the storm knocked down the the trees blah 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 Anyway, um, you guys are going to visit some old land and the trees get stuck and the car kind of just stops working so um, so basically the kids go off to explore some old landmarks that used to be on the land since the land did own many Generations before I don't know why that was so hard to say but uh, you kind of just go exploring you find out uh, There's some weird entities on the land some weird stuff is going on on the land and you know I'm not gonna give too much away you kind of just play the game when it comes out see what kind of kind of things I'm talking about but uh so right now I'm going to go ahead and make a cutscene for the graveyard when you get in. Right now this thing that I'm changing right now, is that was just a uh, a sound when you get into the graveyard too. But I'm gonna, kind of going to do the same thing with a uh, with the uh, cutscene. So I'm going to have it so when the cutscene you just step on a block and it should work. This cutscene I've been using for only two days actually. But I love it. It's perfect. I'm just going to find a spot. Um, go ahead put this down. And then I'm just going to find that. So that looks pretty good. I'm just going to leave that there. Going to go ahead and find another place. If you've never done cutscenes before, you kind of just kind of just do a surrounding of what you're trying to do the cutscene of. And then I think this will be my last out towards out camera. And then I'm going to go ahead in, kind of pan on something just like this grave right here. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, make that a little shorter or a little longer so it goes to the cabin. But basically, yeah, I'm just going to go to that. Um, I'm going to go to the shed right here and kind of just aim it up towards that lettering, kind of just giving the player a little bit of a little bit of an idea of what they're doing. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys what the uh, what the preview will be after this. Just go ahead and zoom that in. That looks perfect right there. And make that longer. So, yeah, I will go ahead and show you guys a preview in just a second. So I went ahead and I'm going to put that lighting lighting down to what the game is going to be i think i'm going to keep it on 0 0.03 i think that looks pretty good and i'll show you what this uh preview looks like uh yeah that lighting looks good so as you can see all the, all the little lights in the graveyard will make it pretty cool for when players play uh i think i did pretty good there i will add a torch next to the uh the rest in peace grave go ahead and preview this All right, here's what the preview is going to look like. Yeah, so that looks good. I might add some uh, some text right there saying maybe you entered the grave or maybe just keep it playing. Again, that flashlight battery where that is will be gone. Another cool thing about the flashlight battery, we will have um, the battery, like the battery. Actually, I'll get to that when you get to that. But yeah. All right, so that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's perfect. All right, cool. I will change where that tree was. I'm just going to move that, uh, put this lighting back so I can see. I am going to move this tree back just a tad because I don't want the camera going through the, 
I don't want the camera going through the tree. It makes it look a little, you know, interesting. But yeah, I do want it to be good. So I'm just going to move that back. Model this one good. either. But uh, yeah, it's just going to tell you the roadblocks. Just give you a little information. We're going to have him standing right there. So basically, this whole adventure is going to be about the kids. And we're going to have F for flashlight. We do have to model why the hands. I don't know why that stick is floating. But we're going to make it so these hands look a little more realistic. But yeah, it is the kind of... Um, we do have our movement pretty good too right now. I got a buddy that did that for us, so yeah, the movement left and right is pretty good. Um, the flashlight movement, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And turning movement, so you got a little when you turn too. So yeah, you're just gonna basically go down this path. Um, and we also added the flashlight battery. So this flashlight battery um, basically goes out when you're not using it, goes back, right? So uh, what we're gonna do there is there's gonna be um, there's going to be batteries laying around the map, kind of just in like, you know, good spots. Like where that missing poster was, there'll probably be one. Just kind of like some landmarks so they'll see where that is. But uh, yeah, so. Oh, this is the monster, by the way. Um, So this is one of the monsters that we have. We do have a jump scare, so jump scare warning real quick. This is what it's going to be when the monster comes up to you. Just going to do one of those. Um, We might add it to like shake a little bit or something, but... It should work out. So I'm a little concerned why that didn't work. Just save it again. Part touch. We got it right here. We're just going to go ahead and move it to the beginning. Just so I don't have to walk all the way over here. Just test it out again. So. And then I'll also move this cutscene. Just so uh, it doesn't do it every time I spawn. Alright, let's check it out. Because this cutscene button worked, I just don't understand why the other one is it. So let's go ahead and see. There we go. So that one worked. Alright. Interesting how that didn't work before. Alright, let's go ahead and... So that does work. That's great. I'll just move that over to the spot in a second. But yeah, we'll just go ahead and show you also what we've kind of got planned for chapter one. Um, just give you a little heads up on what what to expect. So we do have this spot X'd off right here. So after you go to the graveyard, we're going to have some stuff over there. You can only figure out what kind of stuff we're going to have when you play the game. We don't want to give too much away and what, the, what you're really supposed to be doing over there. But anyway, at some point during the game, you should be coming up here. Find this little lake, find this little cabin. And this cabin is no owned to you. So... There's going to be some dialogue saying the kids, hey, we found the cabin, you know, there'll be a good cabin here. We have to model that still, and that's the only reason we don't have it here. We do have it x off, though. So basically, you're going to come up to the cabin, right? The door's going to be locked, um, and you got to go find the key that you used to hide in the cave. Now, this cave right here, really proud of this cave and how it turned out. This was only took me like 30 minutes to model, or sculpt, actually. You're going to go in the cave, find that old key where you used to hide it, where that old family used to hide it. And go into the cabin and then once you get into the cabin it's going to take you to another game and that cabin um inside the game we have not got to yet but we have some really cool stuff planned for that cabin so yeah chapter one is going to be really really cool um as you can see right here that's where that jump scare came in when that monster got us but yeah that's basically devlog what's going on right now um hope you guys enjoyed and uh if you want to support the game you can just my username will be popped up on the screen you can go ahead and donate to that if you want anyway uh we're gonna go ahead i do want to kind of plan something for this but anyway that's basically what chapter one is gonna be it's gonna be long it's gonna be fun to make uh uh i can't say when this um this game is gonna be out we i think we have quite a while still to go it may look like we got a lot on the map right now and got a lot planned but we got a lot to go still you got a lot more jump scares to add a lot more fun things to add just to make the player want to play the game a lot so yeah pretty much it